Hi, this is Paula. Today I want to explore the not only the two-way stretch, but the width as well. So we're going to find polarities today, both uh, north and south and east and west, especially when it comes to the back body. A lot of times, and especially for myself as well, a lot of times we um, ignore that, that nice width in the lower back, in the rib cage. Um, we're always working on our length, but what about our width? because that's gonna create a lot of stability as well. So our first couple exercises are going to be targeted at finding this length in an upright spine, a side bend, and a twist as well. So we're gonna start with our feet parallel, and we're gonna go ahead and start in the plie. We're gonna lift the arms up on one, two. Now this is just a reach of the arm, a reach of the other arm, one more time. So you're just creating space in the rib. It's okay if your shoulders come up. Space in the side body of the rib. And I want you to rise up and you're going to feel space in your back, not only lengthwise, but widthwise too. Keep the length and width as you come back into a plie and then you're going to drop the arms down, ready to start again. So we'll start on this side, which is your left side, and then we'll go right. We're going to do two sets each side. So starting in a plie, and think about that pelvis just dropping straight down, not just in the front, but in the back as well, and the side. So we're gonna think in the, those four directions today. So arms up, one, two, three, four, watch the ribs, five, six, seven, eight, and lower, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, other side, one, two, three, find the length and width, use your breath, seven, eight, I'm gonna inhale, and then as I lower, keeping the width and length, six, seven, eight, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, suspend, Two, as you lower down, keep the length, keep the width, feel the pelvis reach for the floor. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and lower. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. One, two, three, four, think of that back expanding, seven, eight, and lower, widening and lengthening, four, five, six, seven, eight, one more time, two, lengthen, lengthen, widen, widen, inhale into that back body, and lower. Think of it as creating space for the front body to connect into and support for your spine and rest. So imagining that width and length, we're going to go on to the side body. We're going to go ahead and clasp the wrist for the first set. And then for the second set, we're going to imagine the wrist, wrist clasped. It's like a tongue twister. So we're going to shift weight on this one. So we're going to shift the weight to the this will probably be your left side. So we're gonna go up to the side and we're gonna keep this foot on the ball or on the toe. And we're gonna maintain length here so we're not sinking. So pressing the leg and lengthening out. And again, not lengthening the front body, feeling that back body lengthen, feeling the back of the neck lengthen. I see this a lot is that when we lengthen, we try to arch, not in this exercise, we're gonna to try to feel the weight, the length. We're gonna add the other arm, clasp it, and then keep the reach and drop that heel down. Should feel some work and space right in here. Let's try the other side. Shift the weight, lengthen, align, clasp, other wrist. So the wrist that is, that is the same is attached to the leg that we're dropping. Press it down, create space. Ah. Good, okay? So we're gonna do two sets, one with the clasp, and then one without, and just imagine that length. So creating space and length 
and alignment through the side bodies, especially through this area. Ready? Let's shift to this side. Inhale. Add the other arm. Clasp. Ribs in length in the neck and dig the heel down, but don't move anything. Try to keep the upper body where it is and creating that space and length. And arms come down, shift, other side. Remember to lift out of that side, reach, clasp the wrist, and dig down the leg. That was almost a tongue twister again, but I got it for a change. And drop, other side. Lengthen, lengthen, and now no wrist. Just find that length, find that width, dig the heel down, and shift, reach. And reach, keep the length, and dig the heel, dig the heel, dig the heel. We'll do that one more time. Choose your wrist adventure. None or clasp, but find that nice length. Find the width in the back. Find the alignment of the spine. And last time, side, sorry, one, and then the other. Got the word excited there. And dig the heel down. Find that space, find that length, find that width, and rest. Okay, so we worked upright, we worked side bend, now we're gonna work twist and warm up the spine in all its modalities. So side bend, rotation, flexion, extension. So this is the series. We're gonna twist one, two, three, side bend, side bend, step together. I'll show you this. So we're gonna start this side. One, two, three. So I'm shifting my weight to each leg. Now I'm going to side bend and I'm going to lead with my rib and elbow. Side bend, step, side bend, step, and together. I'm going to roll down, so rolling down, starting to get the stretch in the spine. Just a demi right now, plie. Stretch the leg and curl yourself up. We'll get to extension in a second, I promise. Twist. One, two, Three, we're thinking of length. Lead with the ribbon elbow. One, two, step together. Roll down, demi plie. And eventually, we're gonna do a grand plie. Lift the heart up, open the chest. Watch too much neck extension here. Drop, straight, and roll it up. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna do, we're gonna do two on each side with the demi and then we'll add one more with a grand plie, okay? So we're gonna start to the left, shift the weight, think of all that length we've already developed and keep layering on length and width in twist and side bend, ready? To this way, one, shift, two, shift, three, side, side, step together, roll down, open up the spine, bend the knees but keep the heels down, Straighten, curl up with a slight knee bend, ready for the other side, and twist. Twist, twist from your rib, from your rib, from your rib, step together, roll down. Just warming up the legs, Demi, and straight, and bend and curl up. We're gonna do one more time each side with the Demi, one, two, three, side, side, step, roll down, then and stretch, bend and curl it up, one more time, and twist, really push the legs, three, lead with the rib, side rib, lead with the side rib, step together, roll down, and then stretch, bend, and roll up, let's add the grot, this way, one, two, three, lead with the rib, lead with the rib, step together, roll down, grand plie, lift the heart and open that chest, lengthen chin in a little bit to the occiput, drop it down, that brings the pelvis up, keep the knees soft and rolling up, twist, 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 Side bend, side bend, step together, roll down, grand plie, lift the heart, 
and let the head feel how this will come up and bend the knees and rolling up great okay we're going to play with swimming so we're going to swim so in our swims we're really going to be twisting the torso so it's going to look like this we're going to keep the palm down because we're going to swim forward and you can kind of throw your head side to side we're getting that kind of a figure eight motion now going in the spine we'll also do the reverse so we'll start with this side and it looks like this one two three and i want you to stretch your arms to me pull back with your stomach and let the ribs twist so you're not bending forward like this to do it you're nice and upright okay soft knees the weight's going to shift let's just do the forwards first starting with this side and two three four making a figure eight with those arms seven eight let's do the other way one two three four five six seven and eight feel a little oblique work a little figure eight work we're going to reverse it we're going to scoop up and back so i'm still going to shift side to side like i'm doing a backstroke but instead of going straight back i'm going a little bit diagonal and shifting okay so we're going to start with this arm and we're going to shift one two three let the ribs rotate six seven eight and we're going to start with this arm one two three four five six seven and eight good getting a little rotation figure eight motion in the core okay next thing we're going to do is we're going to keep the length we're going to go into a crescent pose i'm going to face the side so you're going to take a leg and we're going to twist this crescent so we're going to go into a crescent and we're going to square those hips here and i'm going to rotate towards my bent knee then i'm going to take my two hands and pull length here so within the ribs and the hip and i'm going to find the width and the length through the back body so i'm filling it in then I'm going to take my back leg, step it in and out one. And finding that length, head to heel. Two, keeping the length three, four, five, six. Try to get low in this bend, but keep that hip down for now. Two more. Nine and ten. Good. Doing the other side, I'm going to turn around. You can still face the same way, so you're, the right, you're on the right leg. We're gonna go into a crescent pose. We're gonna to twist towards the bent knee and we're gonna take our hands, pull apart in length, find that wrap and lengthen from your back of your foot to your head and remember that back body staying really full. We're gonna step it in. One, two, keep lengthening. Three, four, more kneeling, the better, more knee bend, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Come on up. We're going to keep our arms up. We're going to work our parallel. We're going to go down, down, and up. Now, if you want to experiment with this, you can stay low. So it looks like this. One, low, two, low. Or you can stand all the way up. I think I'm going to choose to stay low because I also want to work with end ranges today. So I'm going to stay low. You can choose your own adventure. And remember our next series, well not remember, I'm telling you, the next exercise is also end range. So it's going to be a lot of great leg work that challenges our hip in multiple planes. So arms are up. Remember our first exercise, here it is. Keep the length and width and I'm going to start with my my, your left side, my right side, and lower down one. I'm gonna stay low. And two. Remember that transition through the abdominal. Three. Keeping the breath into the back body. Four. Five. Going for eight. Six. Seven. Make sure you keep those sit bones really reaching back. Eight. Good. Come to standing. Rest for a second. We start with the left leg back, or sorry, your right side. 
my last sign. So crazy. And we will try this side now. Loop the arms up, left leg down, right leg free in one, two. Don't forget about that width in the lower back. Three, no tucking of the pelvis though. Pelvis stays super long. Five, six, seven, almost there. And eight. Come all the way to standing and rest. Great. Our next series is gonna be pulses in multiple planes. So we're gonna start parallel. Pulsing for five, your hands could stay here. We're gonna cross behind curtsy, open those knees, pulse for five. We're gonna open a second, pulse for five. Come back to curtsy, other side, pulse for five. And then we'll come back to parallel and reverse the direction. Ready to try? So as you're in a squat, see if you can keep length between the sit bone and knee. All right, hands gonna slide down your legs. We're gonna pulse down and try to get low. One, two, three, four, five. Curtsy squat and range. Two, three, four, five. Second, one, stay low. Two, three, four, five. Curtsy, one, two, three, four, five. Parallel, one, two, three. Try to be low. Curtsy, one, two, three, four, five. Second low. One, two, three, four, five. Curtsy. One, two, three, four, five. And rest. Hopefully feeling a little bit more in the VMOs and just working that end range. Okay, next we're going to do a standing pretzel stretch before we come onto the floor. So you're going to take a leg, cross it across, and lowering down. And if you have a piece of furniture you need to hold on, go ahead to that piece, piece of furniture or yoga block, and bend the standing knee and just get a stretch. And I have a series for this for next week. But right now it's just a stretch. Take the leg back, come to standing, cross the other leg, have a seat, come forward, hold on to a piece of furniture block, stretch over and then bend the standing knee as much as you can and stretch, relaxing the neck, breathing into your back body. Good, return the leg, stand up and we're gonna come down on the floor and we're gonna work our shoulders against gravity and we're going to prep for the shoulder position in a chaturanga which we're going to do or a push-up position which is one in the same as a chaturanga but instead of the shoulder rounding forward we're going to find that back and down so come onto the floor and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to lift i'm going to get my cheat notes excuse me Okay, we're gonna lift the shoulder heads off the floor. It's a very small movement, but I promise you it's a building block for a more complex movement. Now, especially with women, I find it very hard to find our lat neck muscles. Because we're so flexible, it's been a struggle for me, but I'm finally finding them with these really small exercises. So, on your mat, I don't have a mat so you can see me, and I also have nice, Carpet, I guess. So your forehead's down and you're going to bring your arms by your sides. I'm going to keep my head tilted, you keep your head down, <clears throat> but take a look at this before you do. All I'm going to do is lift the shoulder heads back and down against gravity. So gravity is my weight and it serves me because I can really feel a connection of my shoulder blades to my lats, to my back body. So just lifting up the shoulder heads, connecting back and down, reaching your fingers, reaching your triceps, and relax. Lifting the shoulder heads up, back and down, we'll reach the arms and relax. And again, shoulders back and down, 
Connect into those lats and lower. One more time, shoulders back and down. Connect into those lats and lower. Okay, now we're gonna progress it. You can keep your head down. We're gonna have a football goal shape and we're just gonna lift the hands up and down one. You should feel this in the external rotators. I'm gonna put my head down for a second, lift. So here's another way you can keep the shoulders back and down using those external rotators. And five, lifting and holding. And lower, and six, lifting and holding. And lower, two more. Simple, simple, right? Watch your shoulder heads, make sure they stay lifted. They don't push down anymore at this point. Now we're gonna keep the football goal and we're gonna connect up. And here is where I want you to feel your lats actually pulling up that upper body. Watch the neck and lower and two. Up and lower and three. Shoulder blades down. Find those lats doing the extension because that's what they do. And four up. One more, I'm just lengthening my legs out. Don't necessarily need to keep them together. I just keep a length in the legs. And just watch it's not happening at your neck. Two more. And lower, one more. Lift, upper body, up, 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 and rest. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do is a reverse hundreds. We're not gonna count five breaths in and out, but we are gonna pump the arms and we're gonna do it to find the lat muscles. So don't think of it as being fast. But think of it as an exploration and finding those lats. Because guess what? When you pump and you turn around for your hundreds, that's what you want to fire too. So head is down, shoulder heads are back and down. We're going to lift the upper body into that arch. I'm going to pump the arms up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Explore the lats, lifting your arms. Find that shoulder back and down. We're going to need it for the rest of our work here. 16, 17, 18, 19, hold. Find that lift, bring your heart up even more. Push your pubic bone down even more and rest. Let's go into child's pose and just stretch that out. So this is a great way, stay in your child's pose, to get the extension out of your low back and get it where it needs to be, which is in your upper thoracic spine, your thoracic spine, upper back, mid back area. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come to an all fours position. And we're gonna shift, you're gonna keep your knees down for this. Um, if you need more challenge, for sure go into a plank. But I like to kind of steady my shoulder girdle a little bit here, but you're welcome to have the whole thing in a plank. I'm gonna show with the knees down, do whatever you feel like works best for you. I'll show you the exercise, you can decide. So I'm gonna connect everything I just worked. I'm gonna lower down, Open the shoulder heads and hold. Two, three, four, five. I'm gonna reach the heart, come on up to Cobra or up to Up Dog. And then I'm gonna lengthen head and tail as if my head's lengthening this way, my tail's lengthening this way, and I get a nice stretch back in the child's pose. Okay, so we're gonna do four rounds of that. So choose plank or knees down plank. Let's begin, shift forward. Lower down and hold the hover. Shoulders back and down, one. Ribs and tummy in, two. Neck and chin in, three, four, five. Reach the heart. Stay here. Press it up. Focus on the upper body extension. Round it back. Feel the two-way stretch, the polarity here, the width here happening. And come forward again. You can even ripple into the plank. Lower down. Hold. Two shoulders back and down, three, Four, five, reach the heart. Stay here. Come on up. Find the upper body, lengthen the neck. And round back in the child's pose, pulling two ends apart. And again, we're gonna come forward. Hold, lower, two, hold, two, three, four, five, reach the heart. Come a little higher. And round back. Again, shift forward into plank, knees up or down, lower down, shoulders back and down, hold. Two elbows by your sides, ribs and tummy in, 
four, five. Stretch the heart forward. Upper body extends, focus, and rounding back. Good, curl up. So you can do more of those if you'd like. I love them, they really taught me a lot about holding that end range of the chaturanga, which when you do more advanced yoga, you pretty much jump back and land there. We wanna have a good base in the shoulders so we don't land with our shoulders rolled in. We land with a nice balance of front body, side body and back body active to protect our shoulders. This is a great exercise to really uh, get that strength to them. So next thing we do is we're gonna do a little, again, another yoga series, which is fun and a fun flow doing yoga. We're gonna take one of the legs, so choose a leg. I'm gonna do my left. I'm gonna put it to my knee and I'm gonna pull my tummy up. Actually, I'm gonna choose the other one so you can see. Right leg up, tummy in, press those arms down. I'm gonna extend the back leg and hold, lifting, pressing up, I'm checking my neck. I'm gonna bring through and lift and give it a little extension and a side plank. So my legs are scissored, but you can certainly bend that knee to kind of help and also it will press you into this arch, back to the side. We're gonna take this leg, pull it in, swing it around, get that stretch, back into a downward dog, stretching here, treading out your feet, and knees will come down. Guess what, other side. So I'll face away from you, knee comes in, tummy in, press the arms down, and we're gonna go ahead and extend the back leg if you want or not, keep the knee down. Bring the leg through. You're in a staggered, wide staggered stance into a side plank. Lift your pelvis, lift your heart. You can always bend that back leg. Gives you a little pushing power. And come back. We're gonna pull that leg in and around and open. Getting that nice stretch. And then back into down dog. Getting a stretch here, pedaling your feet. Push down those arms, you're still working, ribs and tummy in. Feel the width of the body. Knees come down. Right knee in and extend the leg, lift and hold. And swing the leg through, side plank and lift. Bring the leg through, swing it around and stretch out, step in a little bit and bring it down. Stretch it out here. And knees down. Left side. Lift, holding that plank, shoulders down, lengthening your spine, widening your spine. Sweep it through. Side plank, lift the hips, reach to the diagonal. And come back, you're gonna swing that leg up and around. And through, press those arms. And back to down dog. And let's come down to the knees and just rest your wrists. So we'll do more of those next time. There's lots of fun flows in that situation. So we're gonna go sitting down now and we'll do a little bit of mat work for Pilates. What I want you to do is I want you to hug yourself because we need more hugs right now. And I want you to lift your ribs up and don't worry about your shoulders. Let your shoulders come up. Lift the ribs off the pelvis and don't worry about your neck or shoulders. Just feeling that sense of lift. I feel this is a hard thing to understand in Pilates and just in that polarity of holding the ribs and the pelvis apart in general. So what I'd like to try, my pants up, is I'm going to try a roll down, but let's do a roll down holding on. Okay, so we're going to roll down just to our lower back, and we're gonna hug, lift the rib up, lift the rib up, lift the ribs up, let the shoulders come up, and feel that extra space it created in your spine. Let's do it one more time, because I want you to keep um, an awareness of that, pulling apart, lift the rib, and find the stomach, really makes your stomach work a lot harder, creating the space. Okay, let's go ahead and start down. We're gonna keep the ribs um, racked and lifted and let's release keep your knees bent and now add the reach you can always grab on 
Curl yourself up and imagine where those hands have been and curling up. Pull apart the ribs. Widen the back and curl into them. So we have the imprint of our hands on our ribs. Feel yourself lifting the ribs up, deepening the abdominals, stretching forward and rolling down. Two more times. Up, lift, deepen stomach out of that low back. Stretch, scoop and roll down. Shoulders stay down this time. One more, up. Space in the back of the rib. Stretch over and scoop the tummy and roll down. Good. So we're gonna go into roll like a ball next. So let's go ahead and roll up to sitting. Wrap the arms around you for a second and lift yourself up and over. Same thing in roll like a ball. So I want you to imagine that length in the spine from your pelvis to ribs as well as the width, just like we opened our first exercise. Grab your ankles. Find that pull apart, shoulders are down. I'm gonna roll back and pull the ribs apart, one. Roll back, pelvis ribs apart, two and five. Three. And four. Two more. Five. One more. And six. Great. Okay, we're gonna widen the legs. Uh, actually, we're going to roll down. We're going to go into a series of five. And we're going to find that length and width in series of five. So go ahead and roll down. Hold one of your knees in. Float the other leg up. Find your length between your ribcage and pelvis. Find your length through your ribs. And find that rib pulling out and over. One. Single leg reach. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight nine, ten. Let's extend the arms today. One, wrap it in. This was the first exercise we did. Two, for the most part. But find that first exercise here. That's the purpose of them, is to then put it into the work. Five, one more. Inhale, scissor. Get a nice stretch, keep the hips square. Find your length, pull your ribs out. Lengthen the pelvis. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Hands behind your head. Lengthen and pull up one. Lengthen, pull up two. Really try not to pull up with your quads. Three, they're pretty strong. Four, find the inner thighs and abdominals. Five, and six, two more. And seven, and eight. Crisscross, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hug your knees in your chest. Take a deep breath, and we're going to come to sitting. We're going to do a spine stretch forward, hands down, lift, and again, up and over. So lift up and over the rib, lift and over the rib, up and over the rib, and come on up. So my hamstrings are pretty flexible, but my mid-spine, not so much. So we want to see if we can focus on that mid-spine lengthening. It's not a hamstring stretch, this one. Again, imagine this, and up and over one, up and over two, up and over three, Breathe into that mid-back and come on up. We do one more time. Up and over one. Up and over two. Lift. Up and over three. Lift, lift, lift. Get the opening and roll it up. Great. Okay. So we're going to do um, one more rolling exercise and then we'll flip it. So in the spirit of that spine stretch forward, I want you to slide your hands down your legs to your ankles, and I want you to C-shape. So I want you to grab your ankles and scoop the tummy, scoop the ribs, and find that length that we've been working on. Find that width that we've been working on. And come on up. Make sure you have enough room. I'm going to scoot a little forward. And we're going to bring one leg up. 
just getting the stretch. We're gonna bend the knee, scoop the tongue, other leg up. So we're gonna go ahead and find that rib lift, pointing the toes, and we're gonna roll back and come on up one. Roll back, think of that length even on your way up. So sometimes the way up, we're not really working enough. We're working with momentum, but we also have to work it through our ribs. Two more. So our upper body has to work. Those ribs have to lift up and forward. One more, up and forward, and rest. Good work. We're gonna flip on our tongue. We're gonna do two more exercises on our stomach. We're gonna do the double leg stretch. Why? Because we have to connect our shoulder blades to our lats, which we love to squeeze those blades together, but we need to figure out how to connect them into our lats and stabilize them and not squeeze them together like you're trying to, that crack a walnut uh, image is just not great because those bones are floating and we need to ground them into muscles. So face to one side, you're gonna clasp your fingers on one hand, put them up your mid back and elbows down. I'm gonna lengthen my legs up and I'm gonna push my pubic bone down and lift my tummy. Now you can do it with legs together or legs hip width apart. I'm gonna do it together to work my inner thighs a little bit more, but if your lower back's too tight, keep them hip width, okay? We don't want it to become a lower back exercise. We want it to become a hamstring and glute exercise. Ready, three kicks. One, two, three. Stretch, here's the moment. Find the shoulder blade down the lats and then lift from the upper body. Lengthen your neck, change your head. Elbows come down, hands up, kick. One, two, three. Blades down the back, don't scrunch, open the chest. Now lift from the upper body only and change. And again, kick. Two, three, and down. Come on up, lengthen and change. Last time, one, two, three. Reach it down, stretch those legs, lift from the lats, chin in, don't do it with your neck. One more time, one, two, three. Stretch and open, open the heart, lengthen those legs. One more time, feel your hamstrings and glutes here. Shoulder blades down, lift your heart. And into child's pose and resting. Get a nice stretch here. And curl it up. Okay, we're gonna come onto our side and we're gonna do a side series. So I wanna start with your head down, although my head's not down yet. I want a 90 degree here at the hip and leg, and then a 90 degree here at the knee, okay? We're gonna bring our heads down and we're just gonna lift up and down one. Now, I find these pretty boring, but I find them challenging, so they're worth doing. Four, we're gonna do 20 of these, five. And I want you to lift from the glute, so try not to involve the quad or the hip flexor. Hip flexor might work, but really feel the lever happening in the glute. This is 10, I believe, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Find your length in your spine. Are your ribs in? Is your pelvis long? Are you lengthened and widened? That was 20. Now just join the heels and lift. And I want you to lift even further than you think you can. This is an external rotator exercise and they can be tr pretty tricky. So I'm feeling mine right here, which I'd like you to feel there, but it might not happen right now. Eight, nine, 10, 11. I like to press my top heel into my bottom heel, and I'm kind of lifting the bottom heel up a little bit. 13, gives me a little bit of pressure to push into. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Great. I'm gonna lengthen both legs. You have the option to keep this bottom leg bent for stability. You have the option to keep the hand down and the head down. I'm gonna bring mine up. This is another option. I like to work it and see if I can challenge myself. Kick forward and back, one, two. So this is scissor, three. Lengthen that bottom side is crucial for my stability. So I'm pulling my rib in, my oblique in, I'm lengthening my leg, I'm lengthening my tricep. Nine and 10 into circles, up and around one, two, three, four, 
five, six, reverse up and around one. It's nice to get this movement in the hip joint. This is its movement, ball and socket joint. Let's give it its range of motion, five and six. Good, take that leg, just get a little stretch behind you. Nice little quad, bring it in, stretch in front. And we're ready for the other side. So flip around. Start at your 90-90. Head is down. Make sure those knees are stacked. And we're gonna lift up. Lauren, two, just get through them with me. Three, four, find the lever of lift to be at the glute. And it's kind of like a windshield wiper. There's also this image of this, like a dog peeing on a hydrant, which is like, so gross. <laughs> so think of a windshield wiper in a, on a rainy, beautiful rainy day. How's that? 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, two more, 19, and 20. Heels together and prop up the other heel, the bottom heel one. Check your neck. Are you relaxed? Two. And open up wider. Sometimes you have another millimeter you can open. Five, finding that extreme, that end range rather again, like we're doing today. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Great, let's set up for the next one. Straight leg, bent knee, Whatever you want, head down, arm down, head up. Make sure that that is an active position. So I'm pressing down through my elbow or tricep. And I'm gonna give myself a little more challenge. Now this is my left side. It's a little bit, has a little twist in the ribcage here. So this is definitely, I wanna make sure I'm aligned here. So make sure on your weaker-ish side, quote unquote, that we're trying to find that alignment for strength. Take it forward, one, and one, two, three, four, five, and my other leg is really lengthening. If your bottom leg is straight, really work it. Eight, don't let it just be passive, reach it out. Nine, it'll give you more stability. 10, circle around, one, as big as you can. Two, three, pressing the elbow down that's on the floor. Don't forget about that length for your neck. Five, and six. Reverse the other way, one, and two, and three, four, five, and six. Grab the ankle, get a little stretch. Back, make sure your pubic bone is forward, your tailbone is long, you're not arching your low back here. Bring it forward, stretch it forward, hamstring stretch. Great. We're gonna to come to sitting. I'm gonna sit in the second position. And I want you to imagine that you have blocks here. You don't really need them, but I want you to imagine. You're gonna put your hands behind you and you'll lift up and down one, right to the center, to the side. One, two, up and around two. Try not to lean back. Find that abdominal connection. Find that work in the leg. Four, a lot. Five, stay tall and wide in your spine. Six, and you're gonna try to lift it up as high as you can each time, seven. And keeping the stomach, eight, keeping that from collapsing to get more height. Nine, one more, and 10. Other side, this way. Find another leg, up and over. So you might feel both legs are a little different, and that's okay. Lift it up and around, one, one, two. Use your arms and and shoulder blades down to support you. Three, and make sure you don't twist your rib. Very easy to do here. Five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, one more, 10, 10, great. We'll do one more thing, we can either Cross your legs. We're gonna be up. You can actually 
If you have some weights or yoga blocks, go ahead and grab those. But I tend to be on my, uh, up on my fingers like this rather than down. Depends how long your arms are. So what we're gonna do, once you've grabbed uh, weights, because you can hold the weights or yoga blocks if you have them, is we're gonna press up, maybe the shoulders back and down, and we're gonna lift one leg or both legs up, scooping, and finding that isometric and lower. Good. Let's do that side one more time. If you need to just lift one leg, lift one leg. It's all about progression. I've been practicing these all in quarantine and they're much better. <laughs> so, but starting with one leg is the way to start. Again, up, find that shoulder girl connection, lift one leg or both, pull out. Lifting those legs up and lower, great. Recross the legs. Now, if you're just doing the single leg, just do the front leg to lift, connect it into your center and use those arms to connect into your shoulder girdle down. So we're gonna come up, one leg or both, and lifting up, scooping open the shoulders, and down. We have one more set, shoulders back and down. Press yourself up, lift up one leg or two, and scoop it in, we can always pop our hands. Shoulders back and down, and lower. Okay, so we're gonna try one last thing before we just go into some stretches and that's the L-sits. So you can for sure bend the knees here. Again, you can do one leg or another. We're gonna do two sets for that sake, okay? So as I go up, if you just wanna try one leg, bend straight, do what you can to develop the strength. Okay, so I've been working on these two, so I'm gonna try the L, and nothing has to be perfect, and I certainly don't wanna be a perfect teacher, so. We're gonna come on up and we're gonna lift the legs up and hold. Two, three, four, five. Rest. We do one more set, holding for five. If you've done the single leg, switch your leg, pressing down, lifting the leg. Hold. Two, three, four, five. My voice wasn't shaky there at all. We're gonna come into a second straddle, shake out those legs. Bend one knee and stretch towards the foot, dropping the sit bone down. And don't forget about your bottom side, lengthening, getting length, dropping the sit bone down and breathing into your back to get the width. Shoot the leg out, rotate your leg, stretch all the way forward, ground the sit bone down and lengthen through the leg that you're not stretching towards. Breathe into your low back, get the width. Come on up, flatten down. Keep rotating the hips and stretching here. I'm reaching through my hips. I'm sending my sit bones to the ceiling. And coming up, I'm gonna bend the other knee. This helps me keep the sit bone down, press it back. Stretch, see my sit bone coming up. Oh, I'm gonna press it down and get that stretch through the side. QL, a little bit of psoas, and some of the back muscles, definitely through the lats. I'm gonna lengthen through my left side and align it, make sure my ribs are even. Send that leg out, sit bone down, rotate to the leg you're stretching for, towards and really anchor and reach the leg that you're not. Breathe into the low back and widen. Come on up. Last thing we're gonna do is flatten again. Through the center, reach through the heels. So really, I said sit bones up, but yes, sit bones up, but you also don't wanna arch the back. So you have to find the two-way stretch in the pelvis. So you arch the hips, but you, the pelvis rather, but you ground them at the same time. So it's a two-way stretch on your sit bones which sounds really strange, but if you try it, it makes sense. So I ground my sit bones down, but I also lift the top of the sit bones up. And coming up, 
really quick hip stretch. Cross the legs, sit bones, sit bones down, and enjoy the stretch. These feel pretty good. I'm gonna add a rotation. So you pull the knee in, that gives you more stretch in the glutes. Twist, remember our length and width in our rotation, side body lengthen. And we'll do that fun walk around. So you're gonna walk around this way, keep your feet planted. We'll do the other side, sit bones down. Letting that glute open, letting the hips relax into the floor. This is too hard. Grab a pillow, sit on a pillow. You don't want a rounded backs. Take it into the twist. This is to stretch outside here more. Sit bones even, fill in your twist. How's your side body? How's your back body? How's your front body? Are they all lengthening and widening? And come back to center. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're enjoying, enjoying, enjoying movement adventures with me. My name is Paula. If you like this video, please share or like it. And I will see you next time. Hang tight, hang loose, and take care of yourself. Thank you so much.